So everybody, this is how I move an electric fence. Every evening, every morning. There's two fences to be moved each day when we're strip grazing. So um, our cows would be, were, were, were here um, yesterday. Uh, I think they've, they've, they've strip grazed five, four, four times down to here. So we get another two grazings out of this. Grass is nice and short, it's lovely grass for making. The only problem is this time of year when you're September. In September, um, there's no real power in the grass. The grass is very, it's very light, very watery. It doesn't provide an awful lot for the cows. That's why we up our mail. We feed extra mail in the milking parlor just to make up for that. Um, not be long before feeding a bit of fodder as well, just to add a bit of dry matter into the into the diet. But um, yeah, I'll just show you now moving this fence the way we do it. hook it on there so that it gets the live the live wire goes through the frame and into the rest of the into the rest of the tape. Move this back a wee bit. Burn's still hard. So you can see there I'm struggling to get the peg in. Move it onto the live wire. A little bit tighter than that. There we are. That's it, that's nice and secure. So the power's going through here into the reel and it's running the whole way over. So um, that's the fence up for tonight and tomorrow and um, then we moved on to another field. So we move the fence every, every after every milking. The cows are always going into fresh grass. We don't, um, some people there to let the cows into a big field and let them run through that big field maybe a couple of days 
<laughs> yeah, that's all well and good, but when you're on a tighter grazing um, uh, setup as, as we are, um, we're fairly heavily stocked. Uh, strip grazing is definitely the way to go. Um, I started strip grazing when I took over the farm back, I suppose now 15 years ago. Uh, a little more than that maybe, and uh, it has benefits. It definitely has benefits, there's no doubt about it. You can control grass far better. Um, you need, uh, and also as well as that, um, we have padways running down here. We don't use that one really that often, but we have padways here where we um, can let our cows in at different areas. So they're going in, they're not tramping the one gate the whole time. And what we can do here is we can, we can let cows in here, down this pad, and in here, and we could run a fence from here, up there, so the cows come in, they can't go back on what the vet. Um, and that's called back fencing. Um, and that's just another way, way of, of um, you know, keeping keeping cows uh, regulated to certain areas and just, just uh, utilizing whatever grass that you have and getting the maximum out of it. Um, but this time of year, generally, when you hit into September, Cows are just cleaning up now. The grass growth, although was, today is quite good, grass growth has slowed down an awful lot. Um, so we're trying to keep cows happy. They did twice as much now as they normally eat. So um, we're letting them run through the whole field. Um, we're not back, back fencing, as I say, another fortnight, uh, three weeks worth of grass in front of them, just about. And then we'll probably have to introduce uh, silage probably at night time then and uh, get their, eat their fill and then out either later on at night or out the following day, whichever way it works. Um, but that's usually the, the formula we walk by, weather permitting. So that's it. Um, hope you like this video. Um, if you do, please uh, subscribe to us, throw a few comments down below, uh, give us a like, give us a share, um, all that helps. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.